So there's a question about why we can't see a picture of Earth. If anybody has a really good answer, let's hear it or a different answer. So it was in um, one of these science magazines. So I'm going to go ahead and make a stab at it. It's based on my outer body experience and my meditation with uh, a non-physical type entity. Anytime that you try to get information through this information-based reality, it's always probabilistic and there's always room for error. Okay. Uh, I don't expect anyone to believe me. In fact, the entity told me nobody would, so I, I would not be harmed. Um, but there will be people in NASA and people that are powers up to be if they do see my video. They're going to be uh, possibly... Uh, they might possibly reach out to me and, 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 and or put tabs on me for whatever reason, but they're going to be, if NASA finds out about the information I leaked to you, they're, they're going to wonder how I got the information and, <clears throat> you know, I, I don't know what'll happen, but I don't think my life's in danger, but they're going to be very curious of how I got this information. Um... Okay. Earth is a realm, and that's where we stay. When you ask physicists to explain gravity, don't go there. They can't explain it. They don't understand it. They don't know where it comes from. But you and I are stuck on this plane. I'm going to try to explain this the best I can. We can't take a picture of Earth. It's not because we can't send satellites up into space. We can go into lower Earth orbit, from what I was told. I want you to understand that when you see the Mars, the Mars rovers, and you see Cassini taking a picture of the, the blue pale dot of Earth, or any other type of pictures of Jupiter, those are not, our, those are not the real satellites. Our information-based reality, the simulation that we live in, has a limit. The limits go about a thousand to two, three thousand miles away from Earth. After that, you would call it radiation. Really, it's just the limit of conscious field, because our consciousness comes from another realm. It comes from the Creator's universe, not ours. So does electricity and power. So does the sun and energy. Everything comes from them. What NASA is seeing is the probabilistic outcome of the course that the satellite would have taken if it hadn't been destroyed by leaving the boundary of the simulation. So let's say you send Cassini. It's going. NASA has a camera on it, right? It would go free 4,000 miles, and all of a sudden the simulation would realize, since they have a camera, the simulators have a choice. Do we destroy it or let it go through? We let it go through. So now... The reality is Cassini's destroyed. We don't know that because now the simulation, which is an information-based reality, is sending data to NASA, fooling them, thinking that it's actually out there when it isn't. And it does a probabilistic um, journey of what they would experience and see um, if the craft had followed that course that they uh, projected. Now, NASA had no problem receiving this data for a very long time. But there are some people in NASA that are starting to realize that, hey, wait a second. Uh, are we really getting out of space or not? Because they've had, they tried to have some re-entries of these satellites that just barely went beyond a certain limit. And they don't, they usually don't get any re-entries back into Earth orbit or see some, any type of re-entry where they can land them in the ocean. They're missing a lot of satellites, a lot of satellites. And that's another big controversy. There's a big problem in NASA. A couple big problems that I learned, and I have, <clears throat> don't don't believe me. I don't. It's okay. You don't have to. We cannot take a picture of Earth because the information-based reality that we live in, the simulation, is in essence controlled by the simulators that can always trump us, even though we have a data stream of free will and consciousness and choices. They have the master choices. 
NASA has sent over 500,000 requests of Quad K, Octa K, HD pictures of Earth to get rid of the pestering flat Earth. And zero pictures have come out. Zero. That's impossible. No, it isn't impossible. The only pictures that NASA can create is when you have to have a conscious stream like myself or an employee there articulate it by doing a drawing or a composite based on basic numerical values that were historic anyways. NASA will not get a quad HD picture. They won't get it anytime soon. So the problem is NASA is sitting here saying, how is it possible that our satellites that we're sending up there time after time after time have failed a million times. Because NASA knows there's a God and there's a creator and there's a force and there's a mind more intelligent than them and putting them in their place saying, you guys lied and I'm not going to let you take a picture whether it's a flat earth or a globe. Because mathematically, they can create either one. The point is... They lied about going to the moon. They lied about pictures of Earth. And even if it is a flat, curved realm, they're going to make it into a globe again. So therefore, they will never get a picture. <laughs> and it's driving them fucking crazy. Mars rovers, they're not at that planet. They're not at that planet. The conscious field has stopped. Our simulation has stopped. They crash they got a camera on. Okay, here you go. You landed on Mars. Oh, here's all these images. It's just data. It's not real. So NASA is... NASA should have had a quad HD picture 20 years ago. But they stopped it. So NASA's sitting here banging their head on the table with one of the biggest controversies of God ever. And I'm sharing it with you right now. I'm actually letting you know that one of the biggest fucking secrets of humanity... No one will believe me. I know that. But it's okay. We can't take a picture because the simulation is not going to let them take one. <laughs> they control the data. Now NASA's scratching her head saying, how can we fail a million times? When you go against God, buddy, you'll fail a billion times. Now the real question is, NASA... All of your data is bullshit. Because you can't get out. It's just a probabilistic <laughs> random, random number generator that gives outcomes of data that potentially could have been seen based on the pathway or the curriculum or the guidance systems of a satellite. They're just giving you information. Now, if you want a picture of Earth from 5,000 miles away, you're outside the simulation. You haven't earned the right for that information. That privilege has been revoked from you. And it's been revoked from Russia and Japan and all your other cronies. <laughs> no one's going to get it. And the reason why no one's going to get it is because if we were to find out, which I think it is, by the way, a flat realm... And we have found out we were in a closed system. You'd have people being obsessed with being in a closed system. You'd have people being obsessed with finding out who God is. You'd have people being obsessed with finding out more land in Antarctica. You'd have people being obsessed over the fact that our education was wrong. We've been lied to. Obsessed over the fact that all of our maps are wrong. Obsessed over the fact that if they lied about that, government should be overthrown. Science will be thrown out. New textbooks. Guys, it's a huge geopolitical problem if the globe is flat. It probably fucking is. But the simulation is not going to be put into a rock and a hard place from what they told me to take a picture and commit. Because NASA is going to tweak it and manipulate it anyways and that's why they're being rejected. The best case scenario is to send balloons and do basic gradual research Improve our technologies and capabilities to, to see Earth from our highest vantage point. This is going to be a debatable topic for possibly hundreds, if not maybe six, seven, eight, nine hundred years. 
could be sooner. The simulation does not need a huge international geopolitical annihilation of angry people all over the world knowing they've been lied to and made a fool of. It's a big, big deal. A little bigger than you probably think. This is a very serious subject. And NASA is just trying to get an image. And they cannot get one. And I will tell you, NASA, you will never get one. So you might as well just fucking stop and realize that there is an entity that is a multi- Billion collective consciousness. And you can't outmaneuver him or it or her. <laughs> I are all the best minds in the world I can have. Because they see through you and your fake pseudo-God. Which would be somewhat of a, of, a, of a conspiracy with the Freemasons 33 degree, which would be Lucifer. The God of light. Um... All of these satellites never go anywhere after a certain point because the simulation has a finite amount of space. Can this space increase? Of course it can, yes. When we've earned it. This is an evolution-based uh, simulation. It's a great ancestor simulation. It's an important one. We need to work on ourselves. They, the simulators are not going to risk flat earth or globe. And they can't. It'd be safe for them to just say globe right now. But it's, it's a lie. They don't want to have any more lies. They don't want any more lies. So, um, one more theory that I learned. Um, they are helping us with our ozone. It's called the water ball theory. David Serrata mentioned it a few years ago. These water balls are about the size of five bedroom three bathroom homes, like 2,500 square feet. And you can fit about 50,000 gallons of water in them. Um, these balls are traveling 50, 60,000 miles an hour, thousands of them at a time, coming from nowhere. And they're hitting our ozone layer and, and trying to rebuild it. They miss every satellite, which is a miracle, which is impossible. And you cannot see them um, through infrared, which... Any type of water ball going through space that fast that, that has uh, 40 or 50,000 gallons of water and they're going 50,000 miles an hour to our ozone layer in our atmosphere, it would create a tremendous amount of heat. So NASA's had a very big problem with these water balls. And the reason why they saw it is they experimented with a medium to far ultraviolet camera and they saw the phenomenon. Makes no sense why they can see the ultraviolet spectrum, but they can't see it in the infrared. It's impossible. Well, not if you're the simulator. So you see, the simulator likes to, would like to hide some of the things and, 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 and make us feel that it is our real universe. But there are sometimes they, they feel that we have evolved enough to where some people can handle the truth. So they leave clues for those that want to explore the truth to know that they're in a simulation. Others will just move the other way and look. That was a clue, and some people found it. That's them trying to help us out. We don't know how to store our, our ozone layer, so they're trying to repair it for us. Do not hold your breath. You will not see any picture of Earth anytime soon. Uh, NASA is banging their head against the wall, and they cannot believe they cannot take a picture of and they're now thinking of a way to make up a lie about the new satellite, Orion, that's going to take a picture of Earth. No, Orion will not be allowed to take a picture of Earth. doesn't matter. So if they do, just want to let you know it's a lie. And they know that. And they know there's a God and a creator that's stopping them. And they hate. Um, please don't believe me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I was just um, doing out-of-body experience. I'm probably wrong. Um, 
they probably just uh, have billions and millions of pictures. They just don't want to ever show them for whatever reason. So do not believe me. Thanks. Have a great day.